Today I'm going to show you how to make GIFs smoother or videos or whatever. So the main thing I just want to say before this is that a lot of actual animations are meant to be choppy. For example, Into the Spider-Verse, that movie, if it wasn't choppy, it would just be a plain old movie. So there are some artistic benefits to having a choppy GIF, but if you don't care about that, then all you need to do is go to the first link in the description, click on the download now button, then click no thanks, just take me to the downloads, then click download, and what that will do is download the actual program. Now once it downloads, you want to click on the exe file and minimize the chrome thing you do and click more info, then click run anyways. Then you need to click next, 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 next. Just click next a whole bunch of times, it's that easy. And after the long and gruesome wait, click next and it will be done. You will need to press yes on a window that pops up. And when you do, you will notice a whole bunch of stuff pop up. Just go to interpolation. Now, when you open the application, you will need to wait until this spinny circle thing is done spinny circling. So this may take a while, so just wait. And when it's done, it'll pop up the window where you need to press yes again. And now the spinny circle thingy thing will be done. So then you can click browse video. Then you can click on the GIF you want to interpolate. Then all you need to do is set the FPS here. Now, mind you, GIFs need to be under 50 FPS. So your input FPS will probably be two times but if you can squeeze it out to four times and it still stays under 50, then you're good. If you want to have it export as a GIF. If you want it as anything else, you can set it to whatever. But anyways, I'm going to leave it as a two times multiplier because I want to set it as a GIF and set it as my Discord banner. So then moving down, you need to go to output mode and change it to animated GIF or whatever you want. This is all up to you. Then once you do that, click interpolate and it will start to interpolate everything. And once it's done, you should be able to go into your downloads folder and now you have two versions of the gif so on the left we have uh the weird gif name and on the right we have one that says rife so if i click on the left one which is the original one then i open up the right one on the right you'll notice damn that worked out really well this one's choppy this one's nice and smooth it looks so much better so this is great but there are limits to this program and i'm gonna test it right now so if i go back to the flow frames video interpolator go to interpolation and i select this weird gif which mind you i'll show you the original right now it's choppy not a lot of information going on if i set the interpolation factor to eight times and then set it as an mp4 video and i click interpolate it's going to take a long time so now that this bad boy video is done if I open up the original GIF, you'll notice very choppy, very choppy. Then I open up the smooth GIF, and uh, you can notice that there's, uh, there's a lot of weirdness going on. And that's because that's just the way it goes. You can't make something out of nothing. You can try your best, but at some point you're going to push the limits of the program, and it's just going to be a mess. Moreover, this doesn't just work with GIFs. You can do interpolation, browse video, and there's a video of this lady eating a watermelon. I'm going to increase it to 8 times FPS and interpolate it. So with this specific video that I went from 30 FPS to 240 FPS, I'm looking at a 165 hertz monitor. The video in itself is in 60 FPS, so you really won't be able to tell. But the only thing I can kind of discernibly see in terms of a difference is the fact when this lady moves her hand with the watermelon to the peanut butter for the watermelon peanut butter challenge, her hand has a little bit more precision and it's you can track it a lot easier. But once again, it's not very much, it's not a massive improvement to be honest. So this is very good for low FPS to medium FPS scenarios, but from medium FPS to insanely high FPS scenarios, it really just doesn't make sense. And that wraps up the installation portion of the video. If it worked, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even further, just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos. And if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my Discord and put your issue in the help channel and I will help you out as soon as I can. Now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. Now let's say you're done making your videos of the Nyan Cat, the dude jumping out of the plane, and the watermelon peanut butter challenge, then all you need to do is go into your Windows Start menu. So I'm going to do that, and uh, I have to go over here, go to your Windows Start menu, then type in Add and Remove Programs, then press Enter, then look for the Flow Frames, then click on Flow Frames, click on Install, click on Install, then you need to press Yes on a thing that pops up, and after a while it should close the application ideally. In this case, you might have to help it out a little bit and close the application. Then click uninstall. Oh, and it's gone. That easy. So just make sure to close the application, and it should uninstall, and it should be gone. And that's it, cutie pie. Love you. Mwah!